Okay, peeps, welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about the MSTR Yield Max ETF, which is MicroStrategy. Uh, what exactly the ticker symbol name is going to be, I don't know yet. But anyways, let's get it. So if you take a look at here at the X page for the the guys over at Yield Max, you guys can see here that they had a recent post um, that was actually just posted three days ago. So that was... Uh, well, let's look at the calendar, see when that was. So that was on Saturday. Interesting because the markets were closed on that day, but whatever the case, um, you guys can see that they are going to do one on MSTR and that will be available to purchase on Thursday, uh, the 22nd of this month. Now, the way that this has generally worked in the past with these guys is you don't typically see a dividend payment the following uh, payment month. So the next payment month is going to be in March. Uh, that, that's a little too close, to be honest. That's only about two weeks away. So I suspect that they're not actually going to start paying a dividend on this particular ETF until probably the month of April would be my guess. Um, I could be wrong, but I had a suspicion that something similar was going to happen with the uh, fund of funds that they have, and that's exactly how it played out. It did not come out the following month, but the month or the pay, following payday, but the uh, payment, the following payment after that. So uh, it's available for purchase on the 22nd on the markets. Uh, expect to see it on all the platforms that we have, ex probably except on One Finance. Um, you guys obviously will have to check with your respective platforms to see if it's there. So let's get into a few other metrics here. Um, the first thing I want to point out is that, as you guys know, Bitcoin has gone up from about 15, 16,000 to currently at about 51, 52,000. And MicroStrategy has gone up with that. Reason being is because MicroStrategy holds nearly 200,000 Bitcoin. Okay, that's not $200,000 worth of Bitcoin. That's 200,000 Bitcoin times 50,000 a piece. Um, so as you guys can see, we're not at the having yet. The having is not for another two months and the price of Bitcoin doesn't usually snap its all time highs until the end of the year of the having. So roughly about the end of this year. And you guys can see that micro strategy is already almost at its all time highs. It's really not that far off. I mean, the pretty much the top resistance zone that you got here is roughly about 873. Uh, the peak was 1320. So even... Uh, so, okay, so about 45% from the peak, but I mean, really, if we're measuring this from the close, so the peak close was about 1,080 or so, so roughly about 34%. Um, so it still has some room to run up, but as you guys can see, it went from $130 to now it's $700. Just to give you guys an idea of how expensive that is, it's rough. Um, MicroStrategy is roughly about the same price as NVIDIA. It's like, I think, $40 less or something like that. So it's pretty expensive. Um, to write one covered call on this, you would need basically 700 times 100 shares. So you'd need about 70000 bucks to be able to write a covered call on this thing. And I have looked at the premiums. They are ridiculous. Uh, it's really a lot of money. But whether it's worth it or not to write a covered call on that uh, is a topic for another video. So... Uh, basically everything looks bullish here. We're not really overbought on this thing. So there's a few other things that I want to point out here. That is that um, if we take a look here at Michael, this is Michael Saylor's personal X page. You guys can go give him a follow if you want to, but he's basically the CEO or chairman or something like that of uh, MicroStrategy. So you guys can see here that Basically, the uh, share price performance of MSTR, which would be the underline for the yield max ETF, has outperformed not only the markets, uh, metals, and bonds, but also it's outperformed Bitcoin as well, at least so far year to date. Uh, that's pretty impressive. So, because uh, we all know Bitcoin has had a pretty meteoric rise, but it's actually quite shocking to see a traditional stock outperform Bitcoin. But then again, MicroStrategy owns about 200,000 Bitcoin. So here's an article I can leave in, in the description for you guys, but uh, the synopsis of what I want to point out here is that the total holdings of MicroStrategy more or less is 190,000 Bitcoin, and they have an average price of $31,224 per Bitcoin. 
what is the point of me saying this? Well, basically, Bitcoin is at 51,000 right now. So they're already massively in the money by about 40%. So if we go ahead and subtract the current price of Bitcoin from the average price of their Bitcoin holdings, you guys can see they're in the money about $20,000 on Bitcoin per Bitcoin, and they have 190,000 of them. Um, so they are roughly about 3.8 billion billion with a B in profit. Now, as I've showed you guys on the Bitcoin rainbow chart, if you guys have seen the Bitcoin videos we've been doing, if uh, you would know this, if not, go check it out. So that way you don't miss out on the information. If you are interested in the crypto and crypto bull run to come up, this is vital information. It's extremely important. Okay. This is a very 10,000 foot level macro view information that you know, if you end up getting this information at the peak of the bull cycle, well, you have nobody to blame but yourself, not financial advice, but by then the information that we're giving you now will be too late. So let's just hypothetically say that Bitcoin goes to 200,000, okay? But on the rainbow Bitcoin, Bitcoin rainbow chart by the assumed top of the market would be roughly about 200 to 250,000 per Bitcoin. So what that means is... Um, MicroStrategy hypothetically could turn their 3.8 billion in profit into potentially as high as 15.2 billion dollars. Uh, this actually matters a lot, and the reason being is because the more that Bitcoin uh, pushes up the value of MicroStrategy as a company, the higher up they get. I believe you have to, uh, a company has to have at least 15 billion of market cap to be considered to be listed on the S&P 500. So if they manage to achieve that, uh, keep in mind, this is just the profit that they would make on Bitcoin. This does not include the holdings, which as you guys can see is about 6 billion. So if this number were to play out, they'd have about 21 billion on their market cap. Um, I'm pretty sure that's not even the entire <clears throat> entirety of the, the market cap of the company. So it could be closer to like 22 billion. But that would put them well within the range of getting listed on the S&P 500, which obviously is a big deal. Um, so pretty much what you really need to understand here is that they have a lot of Bitcoin. The price, We all know the price of Bitcoin, generally speaking, it's always been true throughout history that the price of Bitcoin has gone up after the halving, okay? which means that the value of MicroStrategy and Bitcoin is going to go up. And if MicroStrategy goes up, well, what does that mean for the Yield Max MicroStrategy ETF? The price of the MicroStrategy ETF most likely will go up with it, although, albeit it will be capped. But not only that, you get massive dividends based on volatility. And we can actually take a look at the volatility of MicroStrategy right here. Um, if we take a bird's eye view, look at the chart here based on the previous bull market, you guys can see just how powerful this recovery has been on MicroStrategy based on their holdings of Bitcoin. <clears throat> so we'll go over here to the uh, options chain. <clears throat> As you guys can see, these premiums are just ridiculous. Uh, usually when we write covered calls, we go about a month out. We don't go for just two or three days. That's uh, pretty risky. But you guys can see, even if we were to pick like the, uh, let's just say we picked an 80% chance of profit here, like something like this, uh, we would get basically get $36 times 100 shares. So that's about $3,600 in premium. Now, is it worth it to invest $70,000 to get $3,600? I mean, really, you could probably get that with dividends anyways. So, I mean, it's $3,600 in a month. So it's really hard to say um, whether it's actually worth it or not. But as you guys can see here, uh, the important thing to point out is the implied volatility. So a volatility here is actually quite high. It's roughly about 95%. Uh, do expect the price of MicroStrategy to get more volatile as we get more into the actual bull run itself. Um, even on the closer end, you guys can see it's 90%. We could actually move this chain out just to kind of give you guys a rough estimate. Let's just say that the Bitcoin bull run is already kicking off and Bitcoin's moving past 70,000 by, I don't know, November. Let's just take that number, for example. Um, as you guys can see, the premiums on this thing is just absolutely ridiculous. Okay, you got a hundred and if, if your strike price was basically right above the share price, 
uh, that's $192 in premium per share. That's $19,000. Okay. Um, so I, in my opinion, I could be wrong here, but in my opinion, I think there's a lot of people that are trading options on MicroStrategy at this particular time frame that expect there to be a lot more volatility uh, because generally the premiums are higher when there's more volatility. So you can see it still says only 79%, but uh, based on Bitcoin's historical data, I would say it's probably going to be a lot higher than that. It, that's just the implied volatility that shows now. <clears throat> But uh, I could see the volatility of, of these options contracts going up by double at least to somewhere between 150 to 200 percent. I know it sounds crazy, but those of you guys that have not experienced a crypto bull run, you will understand what I'm talking about when the time comes. So uh, what do I think the yield could be for this thing? Well, um, I mean, I don't I don't think it's going to be as volatile as the Coinbase yield max ETF, but I do think it's still probably going to be pretty volatile. So I would probably put this thing somewhere in the ballpark of around um, maybe 60 to 70% of the yield of what Coinbase does. So if, you know, the Coney ETF is doing a dollar per share, you could get like 60 to 70 cents. Um, as for what it's going to look like when the bull run takes place, I really honestly don't know. I mean, we could be taking a look at on MicroStrategy and Coinbase, probably two, three, four dollars per share in premium, as long as Bitcoin's mooning, uh, which how long that's going to last is anybody's guess. Uh, we as traders, we wouldn't actually be even be able to tell you until we get to that point. So, um, but historically, the the Bitcoin price moving up from bottom to top, or well, we'll say past past the previous all-time high of Bitcoin uh, is generally somewhere between six to 12 months. It's not a really long time, but it's not a small amount of time. So there could be some time in there to potentially maximize your income and also gains. And then on this channel, when we kind of give you guys the heads up and be like, okay, we think we're getting pretty close to the Bitcoin top, then maybe you know, what you guys do with, tend to do with your shares, that's up to you. But um, anyways, so this is the, uh, I'm assuming it's going to be called MSTY. I don't know. But uh, this is the MicroStrategy Yield Max ETF. Again, keep in mind, if you want to buy this, it will be coming out this Thursday. But uh, I don't think it's actually going to be paying a dividend until April. So anyways, hope you all enjoyed the content. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you all later. Peace.